Hello, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Star Trek Discovery Season 3, Episode 2, Spoiler Review. Uh, I am late on this. I actually watched it last week before I jumped on and did a live stream roundtable review with friend, friends of the channel, Midnight's Edge. I say that because they made me watch this. Um, and it's, it's kind of drivel, really, isn't it? So anyway, as you can see, um, I always forget here. As you can see here, we have a fantastic... Uh, segment of um, things I wanted to, to kind of go over in this review. Um, so, like, first and foremost, I think it's really important to note that I don't have like any actual preconceived ideas about this. Like, I knew that the cast had done some stuff to annoy people. And I know Alex Kurtzman isn't isn't particularly well liked, um, but I never really watched it. And then I watched the first episode of season three, and I was like, "Ha, huh, yeah, okay, it has promise." But the characters are just very unlikable. And we'd only seen one. But now, um, I've seen the whole crew, apparently. They're really not likable at all. Uh, it's really quite strange. But there's some good here. There is some good. Let's talk about objective reviewing, shall we? Um, so I've noted, I've noted the first thing first is that there's two gingers in it. Rejoice. And that's not me having a go either, actually. That's not me being bigoted or derogatory. I'm sure we can all agree that gingers seem to be getting uh, washed out of history. They are, like all the bloody time. It's super weird. Um, so it's good, to, it's good to see. There were two gingers on the bridge. Um, there was one I wanted to take a look at uh, because, and I was going to write it down as a, as, a, as a main point, but they they op we open up the episode with the starship coming through the wormhole and they've got, like, no control, right? They've got no control. They don't know where they are. And they come into this planet that they think is something. I can't bloody remember. It doesn't matter. It, literally, the name's not important. But they think it's somewhere else. And they're like, oh, we need to increase thrusters and do a shield. So they do this shield so that they can rotate and hit at a certain angle. Which, side note, this doesn't make any sense, guys. In the Starship, you have artifact, and this is this is true for all Star Treks. In space, in space, there is no concept of direction, right? There isn't. There is no up and down, left and right, because it's no there's no axis of movement specifically, is there? Right when you're in space. So, how do these plebs rotate? side to side when they're doing the spinning on the ship you'd have artificial gravity to the degree because there's no axis of movement right like that, that's physics is it not it, it basically, basically doesn't make any sense and it really, it really annoyed me I watched it and I thought to myself I'm gonna have to go back and watch the next generation and see if they did this and yeah they, they, they did they do the oh, oh, which again still doesn't make sense you've got artificial gravity there's no direction in space so you can't... What? The artificial gravity would keep... Anyway, whatever. It annoyed me, basically. I don't understand it. But anyway, so they come in. They crash in. Um, and one of... I, th I think it's one of... It's basically uh, what Data's role would have been. The, one of the gingers smashes her head. And she's got like Borg implants. I don't know if she's a Borg or not. I don't care. Um, and they, they're like... They seem to be setting something up with her. Right? She's like, ooh acting all a bit weird and and very aloof and not really answering people and ooh it goes nowhere it goes literally nowhere the whole episode what are you doing like are you gonna what are you are you setting it up that she's like a sleeper agent or something like that what what's gonna happen with this individual huh what what it's, pfft, annoying anyway they crash land in parasitic ice Oh, sounds interesting, doesn't it? Doesn't make any sense at all. Apparently, this parasitic ice grows on this planet that they've landed on, yeah, and and is more active at night, right? Like, it's really active at night. Why hasn't the parasitic ice overtaken the entire planet? Why hasn't it moved? Why does it stay in one spot? If it's really active at night, and it doesn't require sustenance to do that, but daylight... What? That does, that's that's not it. Does, no, it doesn't make any sense. And I know you're going to say, well, they're flying spaceships and blah 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 blah, or whatever. 
to me, it just didn't make any sense. I don't understand that because if you're on a planet with parasitic eyes, it would start to travel to the nearest food source that it needs to be, you know, parasitic towards. Especially when they say, oh, well, you know, when the light drops, oh, it gets really, really bad here. Ooh, and it literally goes nowhere. So anyway, that was annoying. Uh, Quip Machine is a joke. Um, yeah, uh, Quip Machine is definitely a joke. So there's this woman who I believe is an American comedian. Um, she's employed quite literally just to put out one-liners. She's very, very unfunny. Um, and really just irritating. Really irritating. She's a stereotype of, I guess, like a middle-aged lesbian. Like, genuinely, just a stereotype of a middle-aged lesbian businesswoman. That's all she is. Short hair, like, just puts out weird defensive quips. You know how someone just makes jokes of everything because they seem, like, ultra-defensive about their entire existence? That's her. Like, that's genuinely her. That's what it seems like. So, yeah, she, no, she's a joke. It's not funny in any way, shape, or form. Um, questionable suggestive remarks. So there's an Asian lady in this. Um, normally a good actress. Terrible in this. Can barely understand a word she's saying. Uh, like, genuinely. And she makes a weird... She's really, really aggressive. Needlessly so. Don't really understand it. Um, I'm going to say something almost as if she needs to get laid. But then she makes these really weird suggestive remarks. To a giant bug-eyed alien. She's like, oh, I bet you can see. You can see a lot, can't you? Mm. And he's like, yes, I can see in X, Y, and Z spectrum. She's like, come with me. I'm like, what do you want him to see? Like, right up your cooch? Like, what's going Like, what? what? What is it? Like, what? I, I get it if, if he had, like, I don't know, tentacles for fingers or something like that. I, I could understand, you know, some sort of play on there. But the fact that you're just making suggestive remarks of the fact that he can see... Nah, don't really understand it. Um, and then we go to another form of a relationship here on uh, The Discovery. Uh, there, there's a, a gay relationship, a homosexual relationship, two guys. And if I didn't know better, I'd think one of them was straight. And they were being forced to do this. To force to act gay, basically. Um, because they don't, they've chosen two actors that have no chemistry at all for a loving relationship. Like, it's, it's, it's cringe. Like, it's cringe. If you're going to hire it, get, get like... I was speaking to someone on the phone about this, and, and, and we both came up with a... We, we both made the same sort of suggestion, basically, is that you either hire, you either hire um, two gay people with, like, better chemistry, or you hire two people with a bromance, because they're going to come across better than them. They're awful. He's like, oh, are you punishing me? And he's like, yes. Be, 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 be. It's like, mate, you just sound like a bitchy... Like pre -tier. It's awful. It's so bad. Anyway, so it's between this uh, blonde haired engineer, I think it's blonde, sandy haired, uh, and a medical officer. Awful. Change it up. That's terrible. Like, it's real bad. Um, and it's not the fact that they're gay, it's the fact that they've got no chemistry. It, it's just shit. Like, it's, it's bad stuff. It's really, really bad. Um, and so, anyway, because of the parasitic ice, they need to go somewhere to get something repaired, right? And we've got this bloody pin art stuff again. But anyway, so they go somewhere to get, get repairs. And it's a local that's being persecuted by some couriers. And he dies literally for nothing. He dies for nothing. Dies for nothing. This is not Star Trek. Like it's that, He died absolutely for nothing at all. And they didn't even step in to do anything. I remember a time when, like, you'd set your phasers to stun, right? Like, what's happened to that? What's Why are they not carrying any phaser technology? What is going on? Is it pre-phaser technology? What What's the deal? Um, also, gingers are back. Because not only were there two gingers on the bridge, but a ginger went on the away team. Again, not, not derogatory. Really good. Great to see. Good to see. Uh, and then, uh, huzzah, Michael Burnham turned up at the end, and everyone was supposed to be all like, Woo! Woo! It's Mickey Burnham! Mickey! Like, no one cares about you, mate. It's supposed to be this big thing, right? Uh, this big reunion of them all going, Oh yeah, Mickey Burnham, woo! I've waited so long! I've waited a year, and her hair's like down here! Oh, you can't see, but past my, past my boob. And I think to myself... 
Is that supposed to signify your hair growth? Hair doesn't grow that fast, mate. Hair does not grow that fast. You had hair, you had hair about as, about as short as mine. Probably not as white as mine. Uh, you had hair about as short as mine. Like, what's going on? Ah, you get hair down here, mate. Oh, you got some miracle grow putting on your hair. Like, what's happening, son? It's not like, what are you, what are you doing? Are you putting, like, replicators for hair? Extensions in the future. Like, what? The galaxy took a hard left and a burn happened. But I can still get extensions. Fuck, whatever. Anyway, there's my uh, episode 2 review of uh, Star Trek Discovery. Uh, it's not very good, uh, but if you've got any additional thoughts, please do let me down. Let me know down below. If you're going to come on in and say, well, you're just a hater, blah, 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 I'd, I'd love to hear actually why you enjoy it. This is the thing. Um, no one ever seems to refute the points I've made. Try. You can do it. Come on. I believe in you. Try. Try and refute my points. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care.